Hello guys and girls, Ketaros here and uh, today we're gonna be talking about a subject which I love which is to making better photos inside the mid journey and uh, for that we're gonna be talking today about mostly about film stocks and also we'll talk a little bit about uh, compositions and positions and, and things like that so in the end of this video I hope you are knowing exactly which kind of camera film stock position kind of scenery you want to build up to create your photos okay well as you probably notice as well there's a, a a great news about uh my my i would say my evolution on, on youtube as you see i have now a better camera and uh, no more the headphones i not use headphones anymore now i have uh, this microphone here i'm not sure if it's the best micro microphone i think it's not i think i can improve the microphone error already but in the, with the camera i'm very happy i really researched about the camera and and I, and I got the one i think it's it's perfect what i'm doing here okay so guys i'm very excited so let's jump let's dive into the what i, what I want to show you guys today and uh, i will make a very important nice announcement in the in the end as well which i'm really looking forward to 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 start this this new thing that i that i that i, that I want to bring you guys in okay so okay well today we're going to be talking about film stocks and film stocks for those who don't know Film stocks are the, the the films that you put in a SLR camera in a, in, a, in, a, in a normal no in a known digital camera, right? And it's not in a, in a SLR, not a DSLR. And uh, the film stock is amazing, and because to today film stocks being used by mo many professionals of photography because it's still giving a lot of ability them which are very good at this are really 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 artists to manipulate and to how to how they how they put how, how each film get the illumination the colors and how they do the process of revelation dark room thing so they have a lot of skill to put on films and films I, I believe it's one is one of the biggest part of the photography art is the stock films uh, of course uh, the, the, the the digital cameras the DSLR as well has a lot of Art involved as well nowadays. Gotta learn exactly what filters to use, how to use illumination as well. Have all this part as well, and 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 I'm 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 fascinated about how many journeys work with photos. Uh, researching film stocks for me was was uh, I, I, I think I was all the time saying, oh my god, wow, because uh, I think me journey really got some model library or something like that really advanced on photos and, and, and quality of photos because uh, and, and I'm not surprised that they have one of the one of the modes you can go to me journey if you go here right so if you do like a, a settings if you go on settings oops in me journey you see that you have here the oh so whoa that's bad it's like okay uh, you see here they have the me journey test photo I play a little bit with this which is crazy uh, it's crazy because you really have to to give a lot of information about the camera and uh, and the and, and the scenery that you're taking pictures to get something interesting. But you can get something very interesting. Maybe I will make a video. Maybe I will have first to study more about me journey photo and get there. But the thing is, in version four, a lot of things incorporate that already, and it and that's you're gonna be digging about today. So the prompt that we're gonna be working today here together is this prompt here um, as you see in the beginning of the prompt I divide it a little bit I put type position and method in the beginning uh, and, and, the, and then in the middle one which is normally my subject I divide it sub sub subjective subject ac activity environment could be actor or whatever subject activity environment okay and then we have equipment tech quality and configuration uh, I know that the, the, the other the other class well, other class the other video where, where I was talking about the number eight I think the equipment was in the in the beginning now we're gonna be using equipment after the, the the subject because I was testing and pretty much that problem that that suddenly appears some results where the model is holding a camera or some people hold a camera was pretty much because uh, the, the, the media was already looking for the subject in the beginning of, of, of the of the prompt so I'm giving the subject as soon as possible for them I will just make uh, some adjustments here so just to build up here so what pretty much we're gonna be, be, be now working here uh, we're gonna be working with photography right talk a little bit about the, what we're gonna do we're gonna be working with photography for, for, for the prompt uh, so that's the method, right? I will not specify yet. Uh, I will not specify type here. Doesn't need to position. 
I, I, I will start this. Um, I will start this with a full scene, okay? Uh, because I, I want the position, and I, we're gonna talk more about this, this, this kind of things here, uh, about what I can say here. I will start a full scene, and uh, the, for the subject, I want a subject which is not real, but it's kind of real. So the, the subject that I, that I think that could be good for us to, to start playing with this first thing is cyber, a cyberpunk girls. I would just put cyberpunk girls because there's a lot of color, a lot of technology, they have no more lights. So um, it would be some, uh, uh, cyberpunk girls. Here we're gonna have the equipment. Okay, and here is, we're, gonna, we're gonna be put the equipment uh, and the tech and the quality. And we just, but right now for the first, let's just put here aspect uh, ratio 32. Oops, aspect ratio 32. So let's put this one there and, and uh, it will be a good start for us. Full scene, photography, cyberpunk grows. Uh, hold on, let me let me see here. Oops, I I, <laughs> I type wrong here. Okay. Um, let's get let's get. Oh, hold on. I'm not sure if I was in fast. Let's. I will send again. Now in fast. Okay, let's get this full scene photography. And let me first start talking a little bit about this, this first part here, full scene. Um, in photography, we have a, a lot of possible kinds of shots and kind of, 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 of areas where you can kind of work so you, you want to be doing here. I'm adding full scene because I do want to get a, 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 some composition with show it will, I will get I will get results like this that you already start here some some stuff like uh, two girls one girl three girls sometimes but are we gonna be playing with those and I like that fact the summer and girls because they pretty much are uh, gonna be very artistic and very full of elements for us okay um, and on, on the subject of, of, of the this composition going back to this uh, let me show you guys, and by the way, I will explain you guys why is this document here, because this document is something that I'm excited to tell you guys later. Uh, let's get here on the on scene types and position. Uh, when you go to position, right, and uh, here I have a, a list of almost 60 positions that me journey, that me journey understand. Okay, so let's tell you guys uh, what, what is those documents right now. Uh, those documents here are my are my my libraries and my the libraries that I have been developing for all the terms which I'm testing in journey and I'm pretty much testing give the, the give description to all of them and and I'm making them available for 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 for, for the community and I'll explain, I'll explain the end how you access to all those files here so pretty much here I have all the angles that that the opposition of camera that 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 me journey uh, understands here I have all this. Mostly all the all the the same ty same types that that, 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 we, that we can use in Mid Journey, and I'm this is a growing thing. Okay, I'm I'm still adding more stuff here. I'm still adding more more things here to to, to everyone to, for us to go. And this will be available for for I'll explain you guys what I'm doing. You can research online most of some of those things online in some websites. But here, pretty much trying to do. I, I really I'm really testing everything before putting them. So, uh, speak about here. About uh, about the controls we have here. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the, the 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 scene type. I'm getting a full scene, which pretty much is is where we're gonna give us a variation of of cyberpunk girls in, in this full scene here. Um, but that's what I'm not what I'm not, not gonna be talking mostly today. I, I could those over the shoulder selfie shot and all of those most of those things here work with uh, with this different than that they need to go to special types special types are, are more are more not sometimes not related to photography and I'm not talking about for effects today yet but I'm gonna be talking here mostly about this so going back to 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 me to the to me journey here the results you give me so pretty much right now it looks like an illustration right doesn't doesn't have any photo effect although I say it's photography but I'm not specifying what kind of camera it, I'm not specifying I'm not specifying a photographer so it gave me a full scene and, and I would say it's almost kind of ignoring the, 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 the any photo element on the on on the on the, the prop right now okay so that's what we're gonna be doing now here we're gonna be adding a film stock and when we talk about film stock we don't need to say the lens and we don't need and we don't need to specify the camera as well 
uh, what, what, whatever I research, when, when, I, when, I, when I was doing my research, when I get one of the film stocks here and I, and I add to the, to the, to the picture, I, I know because film stocks are already dictating what is the, what is, what is the size, what is the aperture of the, the, that they can make. Please, professional photographers, correct me if I'm wrong, but, but most of the, the film stocks are 35 millimeters. Some, some, some others are different. I do have another file which I specify which one is best for what, which one is best for portrait, which one is best for still photo. So now I'm going to use it here, for example, let me, I've got any here. So I've got the first in my list here, the Agfa. Scala 200 here uh, and, and in this file here I specify all of them what kind of effect they make here so let me give you a, a zoom here so this one here for example give you a better zoom here just so, so Agfa Scala 200 is a high contrast black and, and white film stock not a black it's not it's not black and white this one here though no. don't know why it says a black and white film contrast to best use for capturing sharp high resolution image I think I think I Okay, let me, I, I will fix that, that that's not for, for but let's put here. Uh, let's get into the back prompt here. Oh my God, Kila, my assistant is here creating some mess at the table. I normally let her create some mess, but she found the cap of my water and she's playing with the cap of the water. Okay, let's go back here, I'm sorry for the interruption. Let's put here the Agfa 200X. Uh, and let's see the results. Let's get a little other, little, some other ones here. Let's grab the, let's go down here. Let's get a, a Fujifilm Superior Extra 400. I right. too much zoom here, now you guys don't need that much zoom now. So let's get a, this one here. Kill is back. Let's get, uh, let's see here, one more, just for us to compare, let's get, uh, oh, someone said about the Kodak Ekatron, Eka let's put the Kodak one here as well. Someone in my comments on that video talk about the Kodak, let me add here the Kodak Ekatron, Ektachrom Ek Ek as well. So you see, uh, Agfa Scala 200 is not, a, not black and white. It was wrong my, my description there. So let's wait those load. This one here loaded already. Zagfa 200 is not processing full scene so good. But for example, here we have already the, the which one this one is? This the Fujifilm Superior Extra 400. It is already pretty much making the cyberpunk girls look as, as photos, right? As real people. Um, let's get here the Ekatrom as well. It will be even better. Let's wait the finish. There we go. And here the, the Kodak Ekatrom. Pretty much all the girls looking uh, exactly as a, as, a, as a picture taken with a, with a, uh, as our camera. Um, some people think, some people believe that, uh, or some people use them mostly to give a vintage look for, for, for the pictures. I would say that's true. I would say that uh, most of the film gives kind of a vintage look because the way we, we see we see the pictures. But don't go, don't go that route. There are some, there are some stock films which give a very, very new and modern ones. Let me show you some uh, some ideas here of uh, film stocks that there could be used. And as you see, guys, by the way, oh, okay, I would like to tell you guys something very, very important. The most, the most you put in the prompt, far from the reality you're gonna be, okay, in anything about me journey. The most elements you add, the most noise you add, more far from reality you're gonna be. And of course, if you're doing something like very fantasy, artistic, you can add a lot of stuff. But speak, talk about photos, and creating photos that look real in mid journey, the less the best. So, it, so that's why I like film stocks a lot because film stock you probably can find when you, when, when, if you have access or you, you start moving on, on what kind of, uh, of, of, of film stocks you are testing, the ones you like, take note of the ones you like, because pretty much what, what's, going to, what's going to happen is you can find in film stocks one that you like. So, for example, this one here give a, a very, very interesting effect. The Kodak Royal Gold give a very interesting effect. So, if you find the one you like about about film stock, go go with this and understand yeah, what kind of scene was better. There are some there, there are some 
film stocks they're amazing for for picture for portraits there, there are some film stock that are amazing for amazing for amazing for landscape there are there are all types of of, 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 of different uh, film stocks so understand the one that goes that goes best with what you are trying to make and keep using I, I will show you another one here uh, another film stock here which is this Kodak uh, gold here which is very nice and I will show some of the of the of the black and whites as well we have some Ilford is the name for the black and white uh, this company called Ilford they have a lot of nice uh, oh by the way on my file here I have one just for black and white so this company here Ilford they have a lot of different types for black and white different textures different volumetric so that's the point pretty much the volumetric lighting is done by the film how they capture the light of the environment so you don't need to specify volumetric lighting anything like that if you use the right type of stock film your your prop has to be it can be very small by the way here I made an example as well on this file here I post also like a picture right of a real event like Vietnam War for example put this this prop here minus Vietnam War soldiers and you see that's pretty much look very real so you don't need to add volumetric lights and things like that because of course you can specify elements about the subject you can put makeup you can specify things like that but you don't need to specify anything most than, 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 than that so your prompt will be will be will be small and by the way the bigger the, the, your prompt is probably is more lost in mid journey you are so when you see someone put a gigantic prompt in mid journey I assure you they don't know what they are doing they are just playing a hopeless game of, of getting something cool and, and, and I said that before and I say again so I think one of the biggest crafts of, of mid journey will see that you are able to do the smallest uh, small prompt getting a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot of good results. Okay, so for example, this one here, the the, the Kodak Tron, give a very uh, golden uh, effect, which is very interesting. And by the way, one thing I would say. So for example, this uh, like, like happened with Agfa here in the beginning as well. Sometimes it gets too illustrative uh, the picture, and I will tell you this: if you reload one, two times until you get you get the, the picture you want, go reloading. And the more you reload, the the, the better the better chance you get or get the exact kind of picture you, you want. So here I'm working a full scene only, and of course this is something that. Uh, that uh, that uh, that you can change as well to do whatever kind of uh, of scenery thing. So I think I think it's good. So as you see here, uh, most of my prompt, which is a lot of things to 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 give, I'm pretty much giving giving only only the position. Okay, what kind of what kind of what what kind of position I want? I want I want action scene here. Uh, the methods of photography, I, I put a very simple subject, cyberpunk growth, and I'm only speaking the equipment here. I'm not doing any configuration complex for, for lighting, for quality details, because let me show like this. Let's suppose I get here, I get, I get the picture, let me show what happens. Uh, if I get here the, the prompt, let's, let's repeat my prompt. Right, oh, so let's repeat my prompt here, and let's give details, for example. It will accept. You're gonna see that that they're gonna be adding at. They're gonna be adding effects. Let me put here. Imagine. Let's add this. Okay. Let, no, no, let's not use alpha. Let's use another another film stock we didn't use yet. Let's get a. Uh, um, let's get another one here. Let's get uh, um, famous one, a Kodak Portra 400. A lot of people see use that one. Let's get the Kodak Portra 400 here. Okay. And let's now give another one here. Let me put some level of details here, okay? So let's put here like like uh, uh, high details, right? I will put high details. I will put intricate details. So to give details the gradient. Details. I will give more related to details. Let's put here um, high complexity. High complexity. Let's give another one here, very elaborated. Okay, let's give some level of it. You're gonna see what happens. It, it will add those things, uh, but what will happen more pictures, some of the pictures will be a lot of trash on, on, on that because the cyberpunk grows. But you're gonna see that uh, that they, 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 they will get a little further from, 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 from real pictures on, on most of the cases. Um, so here we have the Kodak Porter without adding any, any details on it, okay? Uh, I'm only saying cyberpunk grows, 
and, and then I got a plus. I don't know why I got so much orange, some some reason, but uh, I, I I get uh, this is gonna be perfect. So here now I had the high details, intricate details. As you see, at least for Cyberpunk girls, is adding a lot of lot of elements to to to, to the side of the picture. And for me, it looks like a collage that again the, the real picture and just adding a lot of stuff. It, it maybe it works well for you. Maybe you can find the right kind of 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 of, of, of level to play with this. Um, but on my case, I, I got the best picture, not putting so much high details or anything like that, because it doesn't improve the detail of the photo of of the subjects. Just add details of elements, okay? And look here. Here I went. I went even further. I put high complexity and very elaborated. You're gonna be adding a lot of stuff. Maybe it's cool. By the way, it's, this one here became very cool. And but just understand that that, that this will not give you more detail on the picture. Oh, for example, what I'm trying to say is this: the photo. What's in this? They will not make the the eye more the detail or, or, or the or the eyebrow or the skin that will not make anything who who make those difference is the film stock i try many i try many different things there are some stuff that can work for example perfect eyes it does make difference in the eyes perfect skin sometimes makes something uh, but remember that adding details will just add stuff to, to the to the picture will not improve the picture itself as i see here when i put details it add more stuff okay and another thing you can you, you can work the only thing you can work on and it's important for you to work on is lights. Lights, I agree. Besides the lights that try to change a little bit what what, what is what is the scene. But although I have very good subjects not not specifying the light, only if I really need. So for example, light effects is good sometimes. If if you if, if you want to add some light effects, you can put like uh let's put here the the prompt again. Full scene photography. I will, I, will, I will continue with this Kodak portrait here. Um, and for example, if I want to put some light effects, so for example, cinematic rays, let's put here cinematic haze. To the cinematic haze, I will change the subject. I will put here a little bit uh, cyberpunk's growth in the streets. Just you just give a, a area open areas. Just okay. in the streets. No, in the streets. Uh, uh, let's say the cinematic haze. Let's put here natural light. Natural lighting. Um, those kind of things will create some elements that that, that, that you can play with. I, I'm planning to make a video about specific about lighting, if lighting effects, and uh, all, all those things like blue hour. Blue hour is something very cool to use with with uh, with the cinematic hazes. By the way, instead of natural lighting, I will put here also blue haze. Let's see, blue haze, blue hour. Let's see, uh, let's put the blue hour as well. I like blue hour better than golden hour for me to to some fun things. So. I, I just that, that that's that's a kind of things that that we, we should consider when oh here we got the Kodak Royal Gold picture you see it's not much real you can reload sometimes you get a better 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 pick so I put here now the the Cyberpunk Rose in the streets Kodak Royal Gold a hundred with a cinematic haze natural light blue hour so I I put a golden camera with blue hour here that that that's that's interesting but. That's that's the kind of things we can play with. I should have put the the three, the aspect resolution three two. I put. It's funny. Oh, I didn't give a space here. Ignore the three two. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so there you go. You can play with some. Oh, let me show you guys what is a cinematic haze. Well, it will not show here on the, on the much on this one here. It shows a little bit behind here. The cinematic haze. But anyway, uh, you can play with some light, light elements in, in the photos, in the street stock photos. Just bear in mind that uh, you. I would suggest you do not start adding those. Start raw. Start your subject and which film stock you want to be using. Okay, research film stocks. A lot of film stocks in the internet. Myself here on my document, which I will be, I will make available for. I will explain later. Uh, I have here 36 film stocks that I tested with uh with uh color i have here um 13 13 or more 16 that i test for for black and white and uh oh, by the way let's do a, a black and white how you that black and white so let's get a black and white one um and uh but you can research more there's a, there's a hundreds of, of of by the way i test many film stocks that didn't work and, and, then, and then I did a list. My list has only those that I tested and worked. By the way, I, I'm now, I will test again that Agfa because in the beginning, because 
it was weird the, the result I got there. So let's get here again the That's what the, this one was the cinematic haze natural lighting. Yeah, natural lighting, the cinematic haze. Not much cinematic haze happening here, but uh, it's an effect that works that works most of the time. Um, so let's get here the a, a black and white one just to to show you guys, which is by the way, is super cool. I, I, I wasted a lot of my credits playing with the with the with the black and white pictures and things like that. And you know what? Black and white, most of the time looks so real i i was i was i was checking some some pictures that i did that i made with black and white especially when i was classifying here the 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 black and white cameras for for vietnam here it's a crazy thing there are some pictures which just look so real it's uh it's it's, it's amazing what me jordan said it's real fake fake uh, uh editorial pictures of vietnam it's amazing so Guys, about film stock, I, I think this is covers a lot, and uh, and uh, I pretty much I'm telling you it's not something that uh, you should be uh, trashing too much the 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 the, the, the prompt for results. Okay, play with your subject, play with what what's gonna put there, or what's the environment, play with multi prompts on the subject if you want. Do these kind of things. So okay. So guys, how do you access this file that I'm using from here and all my files that I have about that I have about details that I have about controls that I have I have a bunch of other more I have I have about artists as well explaining. So those files that that, that, that I'm showing here now, and uh, and all of those files will be a new link that I'm gonna put in here will be a link to my Patreon. Yes, um, I understand that uh, that most of those information you get you can get uh, around, but I'm creating a Patreon for people who are really want to participate and dig in and becoming uh, AI artists. So the time I'm, I'm investing on, on creating all this material and creating and creating uh, knowledge about this, I I I, 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 I I'm preparing a Google I'm. I have set up a Google Drive, which I'm organizing everything inside there. So if you want to support me, as support is made, if you want to support what with this work I'm doing here, and if you want to have to access to all my all my files, all my spreadsheets, I'm gonna be putting. Uh, I, I'm I'm adding to this to this Patreon for those who support the work I'm doing here. Understand one thing, very important. It's optional. I, I I'm not I'm not saying that is something that I was I I, I will I will give. Uh, I will give uh, only now help people there. Uh, it's a support that I'm asking for, and I give back. I'm giving access to all my all my files, all, all my all my database, something like that. Things I'm planning doing there on, on this Patreon will be very cool. First thing we have, we're gonna have some some information about business, about professional, about about things that that that, that we can explore uh, if you want to become an AI artist. So uh, if you want to make money, if you want to start evolving as AI artist, I really think it's gonna be a community uh, on the Patreon that I wanna guide you guys to this process as well i'm not the only i'm not i'm not the only the only one that is that is also with a lot of questions but I, all the answers i'm finding i'm organizing and i'm putting on, on spreadsheets on, on texts on on, on, on on database on some materials that are going to be available at this patreon so if you want to have access to all this information please support me the, the the different tiers different different things so I will put this link in the, uh, in, in the description of this video, my Patreon. I hope you guys can support me, and I hope you guys like. I hope you understand a little bit more about the about the the film stocks here, the the black and white film stock. For me, it's crazy the the, the black and white ones. They seem so real, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. It. And I hope you guys start using many film stocks and start creating some more and more picture about that. So. The next, I, I have, I'm not talking about the digital cameras here. I'm planning to talk about digital cameras in another video. Uh, and uh, digital cameras, there's way more things to specify. You can specify lens, you have to specify aperture, you can specify shot speed. There's a lot of things to specify in cameras, digital cameras, because different from the the, the, the film stock, which all the information already is already defined by the, the, the film, in, in the camera you can configure all that. So that's, that's interesting stuff, okay? So guys, thank you so much. See you guys next video and I hope you guys support me, like, like the video, subscribe to the channel and let's keep getting better as AI artists. Bye bye, thank you.